Now starting from the unboxing, the phone comes in white with the visuals of the phone in front, the Mi logo on the top right, and the 6000 milliamps battery feature on the bottom left. Then looking at the sides down below, you'll find the RAM and the storage specs and the color variant that you choose, which based on what we see right now or even later, is not the exact color of what you see outside of the box, so keep that in mind. Opening the box, you'll find another smaller box which has the SIM ejector pin on the outside and you'll find the manual and the clear phone case on the inside. Then you'll find the phone itself. Underneath, there's the USB A to USB C cable. And finally, the 22.5 watt charger as well. Nice. Next, looking at the phone's design and build, my first impressions were how light and very grippy the phone felt. It had a nice, interesting textured finish at the back. With the red meat text at the back as well. Then the rear cameras are placed towards the left with a very minimal camera bump. So yes, the phone barely moves when you're typing the phone on the surface. Then the color of the phone flows nicely towards the side with the similar finish of the back. Then the front has a flat screen display with a dot drop display camera hole punch in the middle where it has a Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection. Now speaking of the sides, the phone also has the side-mounted fingerprint sensor which unlocks decently quick. Not the fastest like how a flagship was, but still very much great. As for the colour options, the Redmi 90 comes in four colours for you guys to choose from. The one which I have is called the Ocean Green. And it also comes in Carbon Grey, Twilight Blue and Sunrise Orange. Looking at the phone screen, the phone has a 6.53 inch IPS LCD FHD Plus display with a brightness up to 400 nits and what's cool is that the screen has the TUV Rainland Low Blue Light certified and the screen is also L1 Wide Wide certified to get the best quality when it comes to watching videos on Netflix as well. Now the screen also has several modes like spots and buttons. Looking down below, there is the USB-C port and one out of two speakers because yes, this phone has a dual speaker system where the other speaker is available on the earpiece area. Now the fact that it has a dual speaker system came to a very pleasant surprise to me as many smartphones within this range doesn't come with that so that was nice. Then looking on the right there is the volume rocker and the side mounted fingerprint sensor and on the left there is the SIM and the micro SD card slot that supports up to 512 gigs of storage and finally on top there's the headphone spot and the IR blaster as well. Now looking at the phone's camera specs, the main lens is using a 48 megapixel f1.79 aperture. Then there's an 8 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide angle lens, a 2 megapixel f2.4 macro camera and a 2 megapixel f2.4 depth sensor. Then as for the front camera, it has an 8 megapixel f2.05 aperture lens and looking at the phone's video taking capabilities, it records up to 1080p up to 30 frames per second both for the rear and the front camera as well. So yes, stay tuned once again for my full video review of the phone where I'll test these cameras out. So subscribe to this channel if you guys haven't done so. Then looking at the insides of the phone, it comes with the Snapdragon 662 chipset with the Adreno 610 GPU. It has 4 gigs of RAM with either 64 or 128 gigs of storage. And in terms of software, it comes shipped with Android 10 with the very stable and improved MIUI 12. Looking at the phone's battery, here is another great highlight of the phone as it comes with a huge 6000 milliamps of battery with 18 watts fast charging. And as seen earlier in the box, it also comes with a 22.5 watt charger which was 